Hello, people. I thought I'd share something with you, actually. Um, it will be a very short video. Um, to try and sort of uh, pull out the edges of these iPads uh, when they're damaged. It's quite... Uh, sometimes it can be done, other times it can't be done. But the trouble is I've got to fix this um, and I've got to put the digitizer on the top. And with, cre with bent like this on the corner, um, I won't be able to do that, you know, the, the, the digitizer will never sit flushed with the uh, fra frame basically. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a quick method of fixing those sort of issues. Um, I have a spanner, as you can see, with a round edge, okay. I have a hammer, uh, yes I'm not going to be s smashing this iPad up, absolutely not, because this is where my money is, so uh, I'm going to be earning something on it. So let's uh, show you very quickly how I've, uh, to be very honest with you, sorry that these two, two of the corners have already been done. And I thought I'm going to set. let me just share this to my viewers. Um, so let's keep this short and brief. Let me show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to zoom in. Okay, and I'm going to try and... going to be out of focus. Okay, hopefully I'll take it a bit more, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of paper there, so I know that this is my... This is, I can't move because otherwise you'll be out of range. Let me show you how I deal with these sort of issues. So first thing first is this, is, this has to come off. This plastic bit has to come off Not all the way, but some of it will have to come off. I'm going to place my tool on the corner, and it's easy and simple. Just tap it a couple of times. I think it's done. Let's just, let me just have a quick look. Ideally what I should have done is I should have taken it under the microscope so we can have a before and after view but uh, stupidly enough I didn't uh, think of that the first. Let's... Some of these tools are just ridiculously expensive otherwise I'd, I'd buy them I'm a big fan of tools I'd buy them all day long so that's been taken care of what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and give you a view through the microscope it's not promised but I'll try I'll try I'll give it a try just to see what it looks like under the microscope because with with the uh, okay but I think I've spotted a slight imperfection and I may sort of consider giving it a few knock, but not knocking my bloody expensive microscope basically so that's something you're not getting all this at all are you? There it is, there it is, okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to off and I'm gonna watch it under the microscope as I'm tapping away but making sure that I'm not tapping the bloody lens. Oh beautiful. Okay now what I'll do is I'll show you under the microscope how I've battered that out one out and it'll fit beautifully. Back on the digitizer will fit beautifully on his thingy, so let's see if I can get a uh, angle there for you guys. There we go. See how nicely, uh, nicely this is, this is, this is done basically. So yep, that's how, that's how I sort of um, batter out the bent corners on, on iPad 
hope you have a great afternoon take care and uh, see you on my next video bye for now peace